Hi everybody. Here we are going to show you how to apply loads. I mean here especially we will discuss about how to apply seismic load. To do this we need to set up the seismic analysis. So in that regard for seismic loads we cannot set loads directly in simplified seismic analysis because it is calculated by software but we define parameters based on the local building codes then the software calculates the seismic loads and applies them to the structures So here we will create a seismic analysis using equivalent lateral force load cases. So what I will do first, I will modify the display to show the stories by color. So how to do that? Click on display. Then mark with colors then go for stories legend by colors click here then apply then ok got it now as I said we need to know how to create a new analysis type for linear static analysis so what I will do I will click here say analysis parameters and in this dialog box we can see lot of loads dead load 1 it means self weight dead load 2 it is superimposed dead load live load snow load wind load but our discussion now on seismic loads so let's start clicking on new as i said i need equivalent lateral force method so click here and press ok now from here one important things this drop down I mean here if we expand this list of course lot of course are coming I click on NBCC 2010 we are done here right now we click here directions and combinations set new mark combination to group 1 and group 2 press ok now click on range of seismic load here there is automatic So what to do? We can limit the levels on which seismic load is distributed and we also can define the structural height for the fundamental period calculations. So the top and bottom stories, top and bottom stories can be defined automatically or manually so we keep automatic we are not changing keep automatic so click on ok now 
method of defining values of fundamental periods we select precise modal analysis it is active now let's see modal analysis parameter number of modes tolerance number of iterations makes you lumped with without rotation this is very important points without rotations all are perfect so let's go now click on approximate seismic code approximate seismic code click here seismic analysis parameters here one important things direction x expand this drop down list and click rc frame again direction y expand and click rc frames so we are done regions if you want you can change it automatically all this value will be changed but i am keeping as it is press ok perfect now now if i click ok so it will finish the creation of new seismic load it means we will get new seismic load once we press ok here see created so two load cases for the x and for y directions and there are four combinations generated now what we will do let's click on the calculations click here we are done now close this so what we can do now now we have task is to go here for geometry here there is geometry so what we will do we will click here and go for the results and this results diagram We got it now one important thing here if we click here actually our target is to get the loading I mean if load shows here we must see it clearly so to do that better we can click here on this section shapes to change it so it is done because in this case load will be displayed more clearly now if i do right click and display then we go for the loads and force generated automatically click here apply 
low force generated automatically i put tick on it so apply okay see here all these are loads so we got all the loads now this load that display at the default dl1 so to display seismic load if we expand this say uh, if we expand this surely we can click here so why not we click here so we did it now we can click here to take this out see wow now look at the loads all the arrow marks it is the load seismic loads in x directions it's very clear now now to see informations in the table form say right click and we can click on tables then click on loads here and table opening mode it will be full table this one now we can click on okay see load table now in the load table if we click this value i mean in instead tab at uh, uh, table addition if we click on values so we get this now right click on this we get table columns now you select this display loads automatically generated in the programs just click here press okay wow we got loads are displayed we can see the loads look at here again here here we got it here so so loads now displayed now we can go here for say analysis calculation notes and simplified notes click here we got the results i mean calculation results this is the informations we need say structure gravity then this one then this there is a number of nodes we can look at it dead load live load wind load 
this is the point we have like NBCC 20 direction X. So it will be like this. This is also importance factor, ductility factor, over strength factor. So all this spectrum parameters, RC frames, fundamental periods, structural range is here, base shear also is here, MB, SA, effective seismic weight, shear force, so all are here. So we got F and M. So everything we got. I think we are done here. So we can come back to our structural model. geometry we can close this so this is our structures see it looks vertical loads nicely if we put it here look at how this is our seismic load I think that's all for this topics.